right you need to go into the presentation mode yeah right perfect so let me introduce uh, professor bharatam uh, he is a professor at department of medicinal chemistry naipur mohali and uh, he has training in organic chemistry and applied theoretical chemistry msc and phd respectively uh, from vishwa bharati shanti niketan and university of hyderabad he has a, a, a varied research experience from uh, various places including usa germany and india and he has been the head of department of department of pharmac and informatics at naipur for more than a decade and has been heading the department of medicinal chemistry from 2019 onwards he has count a number of honors and awards uh, to his credit which includes a uh, fellowship of indian academy of sciences um fellowship of royal society of chemistry london ibm faculty award uh, to name a few uh, in addition to that he is a you know prolific publisher uh, and has uh, a, a fantastic record of publishing work in various areas of chemistry and pharmaco informatics with that introduction may i request uh, uh, professor bharatam to start his presentation uh, good afternoon everyone i hope you all can hear me yes today i'm about pharmaco uh, informatics our conference name is health informatics and related technologies so health is related with uh, physicians as well as pharmacists experts so uh, important for uh, hospitals as as pharmacy uh, institutes and drug discovery companies so we are going to deal with that part and i want to tell you what is informatics you are aware of informatics you are attending course on the workshop on this i am happy to know that you started an event Uh, associated with uh, Durga Puja, going all the way up to uh, Eid uh, weekend, Eid holiday. We are working. India, who says India is backward? All Indians are working very hard. Anyway, uh, information technology is taking us to a progressive state of our country. Now, informatics I use services as, well as banking and many other things. Can we use it in pharmaceutical sciences? This was the question in our mind in the year two thousand and one. This time, Colonel Roy also visited and showed. See what is it? Pharmaceutical sciences can benefit from the information technology. So, with that in mind, Naipur Mohali started a department called Pharmaco Informatics. That is what which deals with the integration of pharmaceutical sciences and information technology. So, we we'll see using the informatics. we can do that and skills information management skills and we wish to get benefit out of it for the purpose of drug discovery and drug usage that is the idea behind pharmacoinformatics now i have going to tell you about Well, but uh, it is nothing wrong. Emphasizing it one more time, that it is related to data collection and the data storage and data retrieval. That is one of the very very important uh, 
requirements of this topic called uh, informatics. However, data access topic and data analysis leads to information. Information analysis is more important also. Information analysis leads to extraction of knowledge from the data as well as from information. Data information and knowledge standardization because data comes in many, many years from many, many years it comes. It is in many, very formats. All these formats are uh, not cannot be similar. So for that purpose, standardization of the knowledge is required. And that is one purpose of uh, information knowledge dissemination. That is spreading the knowledge and sending it to the right place in the right day, at the right time for the right usage is called dissemination. And that is part of drug discovery. And it is, uh, the, as far as pharmacoinformatics is concerned, otherwise it is a part of any information technology. Can we do knowledge analysis or to extract wisdom? We are hoping that it is happening. But it is not ready. It is not happening daily. Only it happens once in a while. So in pharmaceutical sciences, how information is useful? In pharmaceutical sciences, information is many many ways. One is bioinformatics, chemoinformatics. We already attended to many lectures on this topic. Biomedical informatics. That is a part of your health in medicine. Uh, ADM informatics, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of drugs. Or even food, coffee, which we are drinking. How it is distributed? How the food particles get excreted? They get metabolized distributed into various components of our human body. If it is extra material that we are applying, that is very, very, we want to be very careful. But if it is generally occurring like uh, food material, we don't care so much. But we have to be careful there also. Secondly, toxicity information. Uh, lots of data is available. Some of it is in public domain, some of it is not. About the uh, toxic uh, reactions that we are using every day. Toxicity originating from our compounds that we know, and toxicity of compounds we are supplying. Intentionally, we are supplying that is drugs and also nutrients and also food. A lot of toxic effects are available. Do we have information on that? Quite often, we ignore some of the signatures. Sometimes we want to pay attention. That is, using our informatics technologies, we can extract the biomarkers, which are responsible for kidney diseases, chronic kidney disease. It is due to the toxic chemicals uh, as every day probably in the form of food. Sometimes, sometimes we are supplying in the form of drugs. What is it associated with that? For that, we can use uh, informatics technology from the chemicals and the chemicals that get generated and those we are supplied. That is one aspect. Another is genomics. 
proteomics, metabolomics, pathogenomics. There are several science topics which we are all interested. We are learning. We are there are people to teach these topics. There are some service for you, but topics are also there because pharmaceutical sciences is mainly for us in society. So while serving, we do several. We follow our procedures. Several standard operating procedures we follow, especially physicians, and also the pharmaceuticals people. We follow several SOPs. Are they really the best ones? We we believe that they are the best. We are not sure. Need pharmacy research, and that is being that is one of the important branches of pharmaceutical sciences. From there, we talk about informatics. Then clinical informatics. Clinical informatics may be divided in two ways. One is informatics, and another is clinical. Uh, Uh, in clinic uh, informatics so the uh, data analysis uh, and data analysis comes under clinical informatics clinical research informatics is different that is about clinical one two three clinical trials and then health care health care is uh, uh, Of course, uh, related to physicians' uh, topic. So, a physician is uh, alone who is associated with healthcare. There are many other people. Um, of course, nurses, hospitals, of course, the many many people associated with insurance companies are also associated with health insurance companies. They are more interested in healthcare in the max. They want to find fault. The doctors want fault. So that they can escape from paying to the insurance. Insured. So they are also interested in service related. Nursing informatics. There are so many varieties of informatics associated with our healthcare. So healthcare is. Uh, Significant in importance. Where we can easily cheat the patient, but nobody is cheating the patient. Doctors are cheating. Pharmaceuticals people are cheating. They make money, 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 money. Electronics people they make money, money, money. The original value they they mislead the patient and get lots of benefits. Anyway, that is where efficient information is available. Patient may be able to save himself. He should be clever enough. He should not be falling into the trap of informatics also at the same time. Such information is available, and he should be able to use judicial information and take appropriate steps. So for that purpose, also service-oriented pharmacoinformatics topic is okay. Now, what is related to cancer informatics, diabetes informatics, virus informatics, several databases, several information sources, and several um, associated uh, analysis tools. They are all available. Doctor Kunal Roy, a few minutes ago, showed several that he had in his laboratory. They are all available. We are all there to develop uh, improvements over that. Uh, okay, neuroinformatics. Neuroinformatics. Likewise, there are several. For example, which are the fields which are integrating these three and four? Pharmaceutical technology, when it is integrated with nanotechnology, further integrated with bio, 
and then go into informatics and for technologies into the there, there is lots of growth that is possible that is the background of informatics is uh, being considered in our institute in our mall the same we test a flow chart and the flow chart is shown here up to the time you discover the drug it is science oriented to discover the drug it is it is the top both the varieties are required in the that one is part now it will be and for the service part we have to integrate both that is the motor brain because the, the same topic and here so what is bioinformatics you already attended it but let me 20 years this was a scientist in important called bioinformatics after 20, 25 years ago, somewhere in 1984, 89, uh, lots of uh, of technology, but that was all uh, more to service to uh, over and above it be bioinformatics and science over the last 20 years. Many, many important uh, uh, results. Uh, Mathematics. Uh, some of them are number biology scientists, and some of them are biology experts. Are relevant for hospital experts. So you can see that. So we started as a small incredible effort as they turned into a huge huge requirement today without that we cannot even uh, bioinformatics one of the most important requirements for science is target information to identify new targets to provide and um, we should be able to uh, we should be to spend our financial resources. But that was if we identify some target, we may waste all the money. If we say that the target is about uh, thousand one million dollars are required to move one drug. I buy one billion dollars if I want to spend one million dollars on the wrong compound. That's what I do. Right? If I buy on is very important in the very beginning of the discovery process. And then target it. Violation can be done using bioinformatics itself. There are so many identification targets, and techniques for of the targets informatics as well as concern towards the uh, drug discovery. Okay, so just even a few lectures uh, today in this session. And came from the last more than one hour. And Mandalay prepared periodic table. It was based on information that he gathered. But that day we did not call it as information technology. He was very cleverly able to place the periods and groups in a periodic table. And a beautiful period of 
36 elements within come next 60 years many many new elements were identified based on the gaps present in the periodic table that is, is it not information technology absolutely it is information technology many new elements are available about the 36 elements uh, gather but all the technology in those there is a chemical society started in chemical abstracts and then journal publication american chemical society to spread the information through journals as a technology they prepared uh, services for that, they prepared uh, the very uh, many indices, patent index, chemical compound index, molecular index, structural index. Likewise, they created many indices that also we thought did not call it as hemoinformatics. We started calling hemoinformatics as a poor cousin brother of bioinformatics. It is not correct. Manually who did excellent work using informatics. Okay. So uh, anyway, the term chemoinformatics is young. That's all. The term chemoinformatics came into picture in 1998. That's why people think that chemoinformatics is a poor cousin sister. It is there are several databases. There are several crystallographic databases. This database started long time ago in 1960s, before bioinformatics even came into birth. Before molecular biology was born. Okay. So, this next chemoinformatics came into being recently when methods of driving science from US was recognized after 1995. Okay, next, one of the very important topics of chemoinformatics, which is required for drug discovery is called virtual screening. Virtual screening is uh, very, very crucial uh, in drug discovery because we can screen billions of impairments and Start with the billions virtual compounds. If I have to do similar thing experimentally, what I can do? I cannot start with billion compounds for sure. I can only start with about 5,000 compounds. In pharmaceutical company, if a drug scientist uh, or a team of drug discovery scientists working together for more than seven years, if they start with 5,000 compounds uh, and come up with one compound, they feel very, very great about themselves. They feel that they are successful. But now we are talking about billions of compounds. Not one, maybe more than yeah. chemicals. From, I want to give it 20 compounds. For that, I can utilize virtual screen technologies. One of the means is probably QACR. Another screen probably with the model. screen could be the pharmacophore mapping. One more virtual screen, let's say rules of five. And it may be the it is the simple rules, empirical rules, like for, uh, rotatable bonds in a given Molecule, maybe for example, quantum molecular chemistry. Using that, I want a molecular electrostatic potential, which is quantum chemically accurately estimated um, potentials, and those potentials are the same. So, likewise. Screen the uh, technology which is of uh, very, very large discovery. These are, of course, important. 
uh, genomics is so important. I probably some lectures, many lectures were already held on genomics and genomic informatics. Uh, it, many details are becoming available. In fact, it's a whole genome product is based on information technology only. How to get the information? To get the information? How to uh, disseminate it? And how to extract the knowledge from the genome project? This was the topic last started some 25 years ago and uh, almost 20 years. But since the genome project was uh, completed, clues became available. Technology based projects uh, have been taken up and many new drugs were identified. Today, Remdesivir was identified as one of the potential compounds. Uh, this was based on the genome. Uh, also, uh, there are uh, vaccines which are approved with the help of application, not for regular application. Uh, but that all is taking help of this uh, information technology. Almost every drug that is identified uh, after 2000, after the year 2000, utilize information technology in one form or the other. It is not cannot do it. Uh, in, which talk, in which subtopic of drug discovery uh, this informatics technology was used? There is one question I often hear. What is the use of all these computer-aided drug discovery methods? What the drug came out of computer-aided drug discovery methods? All the drugs were cleared off in the year 2000. All came from information technology. At one time or the other, information technology was utilized in the process of identifying all these drugs. Every year, 20 drugs and 21 years, more than 400 drugs were identified since the year 2000. New drugs were identified. All these new drugs if anybody asks, there is no, if anybody claims that there is no use of computer aided methods, that is absolutely wrong. You can tell if your question is wrong. That is, the question is, how computer-aided methods are utilized? Tell me one drug which is computer-aided. I think of the blue moon is a combined effort of many, many scientific efforts. Out of those scientific efforts, computation methods are the discovery process for this drug. That is, I'm 100% confident on Neuroinformatics, computational modeling of neuroinformatics can be done. It models. Modeling takes the help of informatics. Modeling of ion channels, modeling of various, various parts of neurons and a neural network. Modeling of morphological details, modeling of biochemical reactions, and there are many, many things that is which are all can be modeled. But for that information to supply to be brought to one platform quickly with the help of information technology. Database, probabilistic atlas, and the surface management. Stages now they have not matured into full science today, even today. They are in the process of and those who work in the 
should be able to be there. So, Muno informatics, for example, objectives of Muno informatics, what are they? Retrieval of the data. Sequences. So we are not only modeling tools, not only the cell, we are thinking beyond. We want to model the entire organ. We want to model the entire human. We want to model human on computer to be treated with my new world. I said that a new user PV Vartam and it has to be tested on human. Guaranteed. I will stand up, don't let me be injected. Are you going to come to my lab running? I'm sure you will not. Even if you run, even if you like me and you want to volunteer, FDI will not approve. The food, the, 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 so I cannot do testing. What I can do, I can create human model. Human model being created. Maybe you have already heard some days about that in the previous lectures. But that is possible today. Human models are being generated on the computer. And then if and only if there is a positive signature, I will spend my money on clinical trials, in vitro trials, in vivo trials, preclinical. Before going into the clinical, the under percent thorough with informatics by saving a lot of lots of uh, expenses and time okay, for that uh, simulation of laboratory experiments are possible. Statistics is possible, immunogenomics is possible. You have seen the importance of statistics just a few minutes ago. QSAR is completely dependent on statistics. Now, what the database? These are the old There are many, many new databases are becoming available for immunoinformatics. There are infinities of research HIV plus TB. HIV plus the virus and uh, this uh, um, corona, for example. The databases are completed. Uh, that is mutually, collaboratively developed new complications due to uh, corona. People are working in many fields and. Uh, Okay, metabolomics. This is another topic. Metabolomics are, is so very metabolites itself, metabolites which are being generated. That is how it comes. Another is about metabolic pathways. A pathway which is being followed the generation of the bait from the so, so cyclic, uh, uh, from the compound that we are supplying. Those compounds which we are genobiotics. We are supplying external to the body. External to the anything we are supplying external intentionally is called genobiotic. That genobiotic uh, all are producing uh, several metabolites. Food is also producing several metabolites. What are the various varieties of these metabolites which are being generated? And how many of them are toxic in nature? 
and how many of them are uh, can be treated as a biomarker to identify a physical disease. For example, pancreatic. It is uh, quite common. More than five people are using this. Uh, but it is not uh, so much dangerous as the final stages of cancer. In the case of many people, it is only merely a, a primitive stage. Many people don't even know that they have this. It may dangerously grow. That is uh, the steps which we need to avoid. But we need to find out the marks. And what is the biomarker? Then I started treating the patient. That means a person who is supposed to die after 20 years may die after years. That is good enough. If drug will increase the health of a patient by 60 years, oh, that is excellent. Is it not? Okay, at least his pains can be reduced. Uh, ADME informatics. I told you about it uh, briefly. Distribution, metabolism, and excretion. These are all happening inside the body. These are all happening. Absorption, that has to be absorbed into the bloodstream. Is the drug is not just immediately the moment you supply, it does not go to the bloodstream. It does not go, it does not go to the brain. Reach your tissues just like that. Quite often it goes out and out. You supply one gram of metformin. Out of one gram you are supplying, only 10 milligrams are being utilized. That is good enough. But we are supplying one gram. For example, there is a compound called rosiglitazone. This mg is required per day. But the tablet that I am selling is 200 mg. Why? Why one thing is commercial decision. You supply the more, you get the more maximum profit. If you invest your data, uh, to prescribe 600 mg per day. My company, which is synthesizing rosiglitazone, will get large more profit. So with the help of uh, a medical representative, I impress the drug, please prescribe at least 600 mg. But what is actually required is 16 mg per day. 16 mg versus three times, three tablets, three times into 600, 1600 mg. That is a uh, absolute way. In excess. Uh, that is, of course, that I, I don't want to talk about how to avoid this, that excess, but know that in MG being absorbed, it is getting distributed to the tissues. Where, where is it required? The, wherever PPR gamma is present. This is a nuclear uh, uh, implies that the nucleus, uh, it is on the nucleus. So th that means every cell has got a nucleus. They're able to reach that point. 16 mg is sufficient enough. That is why and analysis is also important. That is where pharmacoinformatics is quite useful. Excretion. Mm how -hmm. the drug is getting and how is no how much is uh, actually going through which tissue 
uh, is it really reaching the brain, for example, the CNS is, are they reaching the brain? You expect uh, the drug should produce action in the brain, but it may not be reaching it. Are is it having the field properties to cross that barrier? We need to be able to enhance. For that, we need excretion informatics. Excretion, you know, we can have many, many sources. Through which process the drug is excreted? Okay, we want to, sometimes we want excretion to go through uh, some pathways. For example, a drug which is associated with sweat. If it is going excreted through the sweat gland, the thing will not sinking in the in public. Well, he is a 60-year-old professor like me, and is giving a lecture. He took the lecture by four singing singing in the classroom. We have to avoid that. For that informatics information in many days. Toxico informatics I have mentioned there is top care, there is toxico informatics. Then medicine, medicine, medicine first, the physicist, who is using bioinformatics, medical informatics and bioinformatics have to be integrated. As of this conference, medicine and molecular biology, and that comes through molecular Maybe no, for the last 20 years, uh, Jawaharlal University uh, started and, uh, working in this area called molecular medicine. Okay, so likewise, I am sure that all of you know uh, the importance of bioinformatics and uh, pharmacoinformatics. I will quickly tell you uh, this is about uh, informatics. NCA created this kind of data which is called CAC and so and it utilizes most models, models, molecules, measures, cancer genomics, all these common data elements. This is objective number one to provide data exchange infrastructure, objective number two, then develop electronic data interfaces that is a, to distribute to develop distribute work for the cancer informatics and to provide application for the and then to develop portals. There are many, many utilities is being treated, uh, taking this CAC core as a base. This is also again a primitive effort. Currently, so uh, biomedical applications, healthcare informatics uh, utilizing science, magnetic science information, and you can see that electronic patient record is uh, uh, that, that there is. The doctor is visiting the patient, or when we should be visiting the doctor, kind of a cool in front of him. His laptop is uh, and injections. So, this is becoming common. Um, uh, of course, now his laptop is, is also being replaced with uh, the mobiles. Uh, this chemical informatics, medical information uh, and uh, medical information uh, jobs are there. Um, for those who translate the information coming from the physician and convert into information which is required for the uh, required for the insurance companies, for example. 
So they are all utilizing this kind of tool sets. So molecular modeling is uh, one of the important uh, components that this utilize DDSAR and uh, molecular analysis, uh, DDSAR with molecular docking type techniques, for mapping techniques, electronic structure methods, many of them can be utilized. And these are all being practiced in our institute. And once we design new compounds, we go to organic laboratory to synthesize. We don't enter into organic laboratory before doing the homework. If our homework is satisfactory, the result from organic laboratory, result from the in laboratory, and the result from the in vivo laboratory, all of them will give the right result. It won't be done with the help of information technology. If we ignore this part, it is like uh, going into the uh, tour without calculating how much it costs. You want to go to Switzerland. Somebody says that you give me three lakhs, I will take you to Switzerland, entire family. But after taking there, one way ticket he will buy and he will drop you there. He will do the second return ticket. For the return ticket on the spot, you will end up paying six lakhs for your family. So this is, you have to do homework before going into a tour. Exactly like that. You are entering into a tour called drug discovery tour. If you are going to do drug discovery tour by ready to invest $1 billion, first do homework with the help of information technology. Fail first. Fail you, fail early. Save money. This is a concept today. Failing is not nothing wrong. Spending too much time is big. So spend your money, spend your time, so spend your effort in information, health informatics. This is something is coming out of this conference and I hope you have received the message clear and uh, without any hesitation. In future, everybody is going to adopt. I am forced to, to adopt. The discovery companies will want to save money. They force the research in my It is not me as a teacher, I am telling. It is uh, natural financial management systems. Economics is going to dictate that information technology is essential for uh, healthcare. So, if you put information technology, is a possibility of keeping for that. I shall uh, stop here. I I I hope. Uh, my time is over and yes and, uh, thank uh, you our, our yes thank you professor Bharatam, uh, for the talk and for giving us an overview of this area uh, i would now like to uh, you know ask the audience if they have any questions yes if you sure. have any questions yeah please write them down in the chat box or in the q and a box It was a very good overview, Professor Bharatam, and uh, I am just waiting for a couple of questions if there are any. In the absence of that, we would yes. be concluding with the talk, but let's wait for half a minute. Okay, uh, looks like there are no questions. Uh, today is anyway the last day and the last uh, session. So I'm ho hoping that audiences have 
been you know wanting wanting to wind up uh, the session uh, but thank you okay. uh, once again yeah. professor bharatan for being available and for sharing the knowledge and information that you have with uh, with you thank you bye nice best wishes thank you sir uh now i would like to yeah i would like to ask manasi to take over uh, for the poster session please